everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you another design that you really could use as a holiday or Christmas design you know a lot of times it's more of us the colors that you're using that could actually turn it into something appropriate for whatever holiday it is you're you're creating it for so just keep that in mind it doesn't have to necessarily be a specific flower especially if you're just learning because some flowers are hard to paint I am going to be using three magic round brushes and I will put these affiliate links down below that you're welcome to purchase through a number 16 a number six and a number four I am going to be using my fine liner by Westonia and a dotting stylus anything that you have to make dots with you don't actually have to have a stylus that's up to you I am going to use a sea sponge to create a background don't do a lot of backgrounds on here but I'm going to do it for this one and I'm putting it into metallic I know I should have done this first my it's brushed metal so it's more of a metallic finish even though says it's a uh, satin and I'm trying to always with this one for, forget where the color is at mm. it's an indoor outdoor paint oh it's brushed antique gold so anyways I just dip my sponge into the color that I'm going to use so any gold will, have, will do and I got a little bit of red on here so hopefully I can keep that out of here so I'm just going to tap, leave some space, tap this background, and this is going to be a very quick flower to paint. I'm just going to show you the basic flower. If you want to create more, you can use the same t technique and just add more, more blooms, more leaves, more branches however you want to do it. Now, for the purpose of this video, since this is a bottle that I wash off and reuse, I'm just going to uh, paint the front of it. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the heat gun because I want it to be somewhat dry before I start painting the flower. I will be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and hit it with the heat gun. Yeah, I was hoping my furnace would turn off. What I'm going to do now is take my number 16 round brush. Uh oh, you know what guys, let me stop for a second. I'm going to do that, and this is the berry wine. I normally show my paints first, so I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be using Happy Green, all folk art paints, mixture of enamels and multi-surface, and that's evergreen, which to me is kind of a Christmassy color. Thicket, wicker white, and... I'm using lipstick red. And of course, this is one bottle I didn't have over here. Or not, I'm sorry, it's apple red. Excuse me, I'm using apple red. Oh, I have lipstick red in my head. All right, so I am going to put my brush into the berry wine. Just cover it all nice and good full of paint. And then I'm going to start creating my flower. Again with this one I'm just pushing towards the center. I'm going to push down and pull towards the center. And just keep creating. Pull towards the center. Pull. You can leave spaces in between if you want or you can put your petals close together. That is up to you. All right, so I'm just swinging it around. Again, you know, you can put them close, far apart, big, little. Depending on the amount of pressure you put down, that's what will determine what your petals look like. All right, so then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to come in here with the lips. There I go again. Apple red. It really is apple red. So whatever red you want to use. I don't know why I've got that fixation in my head. 
I'm just going to go over it. Now by doing all these different layers of paint, you're going to have a very durable design, meaning it won't scratch easy. If you just put a thin layer of paint on with this paint, it is not going to be durable. Okay, so there we go. And like I said, then this by doing it this way, then you still see some of the underlying darker color. You're getting a good coat of paint. And then we can go ahead and proceed with the next part. All right, again, very simple design. I'm going to take the number six round brush, put it into that antique gold. And I'm just going to take the brush and tap into the center. Now, yes, of course, I could use one of my dear foot stipplers, but I'm just pouncing this center in. I want it to be kind of bumpy. I could even use like a dotting tool to dot in the center if I wanted. But I'm not going to do that. I want it just like this. Then I'm going to take my fine liner, stick it into my antique gold, just like I do with my greens typically and then I'm going to come through here and I can actually pull with some of this even from the center pull out but I'm just going to go right around and just easily pull little strokes out from the center to the petals and you can make them long short a mixture cross them over each other just to make them look more natural and up to you <clears throat> excuse me and it's okay if you pull some red in I'm not worried about that but using the gold and if you use like a gold or a silver typically we're good holiday kind of colors and you know I think that's makes a good, you know, good base for your holiday design. If you want to do just a very simple, you're new to painting, you want to do a simple design, this is what you need to be doing. All right, next I'm going to go into my greens, and I do have the three. I'm going to go into the greens with my, my uh, fine liner and just get a mixture of color here. You could actually just do the darker if you wanted, but I'm just going to go in with all of them. And do like I normally do. I just go back over them just to make sure that I have good coverage. Because that's the biggest thing. And I know the biggest thing people ask. Now I do typically, not, not on this one because this again is my sample bottle I do videos with. But I do typically bake my items. And... I put them in a cold oven. Don't turn it on until you put the bottles in. Then turn it on and do the preheat. But this paint, it's going to take 30 minutes of bake time, but I add my preheat time. So say my, my oven takes 20 minutes, I'm going to add that on, so I'm going to bake them for 50 minutes. It's not going to hurt it if you bake it longer. Just so you know, if you want to set it at 50 minutes and leave it at that, it's good. When it's done, turn off your oven, let the oven cool for a while. Some people ask how long. I would say an hour to two hours. You just have to judge it just so that you're not doing a quick temperature change, whether it's taking the glass and putting it into the oven hot or taking it out to the colder air from the hot oven. That's what causes glass to break. So you just have to keep that in mind. Now with this next thing, I've filled the number four brush with my thicket and I'm just going to come through here and put little simple leaves throughout the stem. Keep in mind too and I like to try to remind people that visit my channel if you're new to my channel my designs are intended to be very simple. So if you think they're too simple for you, that's fine, but they're meant to be. All right, this number four brush is going into the evergreen. 
using the same brush. I'm not cleaning it out. I'm just going to go over it. You can rotate this if you want and not use it on all the, the leaves. You can bury them a little bit, but I'm going to use them on all of them. Then I'm going to go into my happy green. Sorry, hit the thing. My happy green, which I absolutely love. And go over it again. Again, I can just do a quick swipe or I can do a little bit more and just, you know, maybe not even load the brush all the way every time. All right, so there you go. The next thing, we're almost done, so thank you for sticking with me. The next thing I'm going to do is take my dotting stylus, and it doesn't matter which side, whatever side you want. Okay, well, that didn't work. I'm trying to dot it just so that I have, have a, uh, show it up better on my paper so that I have a little bit of a boundary around the center. And you can make them close together or you can you know, put more of them in there if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take my the other side and dip it into the happy green and I just want it to be kind of a loose center now if you wanted it to show up better you could even put some light around it which I'm not going to do right now I am going to take the stylus though and I'm going to go ahead and go into the got a little green in there into the berry wine and just do some little dots around it so you always have to look at the colors to see what you should use. If you can see it based on the background that you're going to be painting around. And I'm going to use white in hopes that I can actually see it a little bit better. But I'm just doing some real simple dots around this. You can put them close. You can stagger them. Put them out away from it like that, or have them close and have them different sizes. Again, up to you. Anything or any part that I do that you don't like, just leave it out. If you don't like what I'm doing, just leave it out. That's perfectly fine. All right, oops, I forgot one over here. And just see how simple that is. Again, you don't have to make difficult designs in order for them to be pretty. Less is more sometimes. Hey, have at it. I think it's very pretty. Makes a beautiful bottle decor. You can actually paint any of my designs on any surface. It doesn't matter. I just choose to paint on glass. All right. I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you like it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. I am continuing to try to build my channel and I appreciate your help in doing so. And again, thanks so much for taking your time to view my video. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. <laughs>